Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to more Sonic Forces. Welcome to the bonus episode of the Sonic Forces playthrough. Now, there's not much to really showcase in terms of bonuses, except for the fact that if you do end up collecting a bit of the red rings, the special moon rings, and the number rings, you will end up getting more bonus stages. If you end up finishing those bonus stages, you essentially will end up getting more wispons and more accessories for your avatar. They're not much special, but to be honest, that's like the only replay value I can actually say that you can probably get if you come back to this game. I, on the other hand, never really bothered to really go after all of them because they're not worth it. Getting every single moon, number, and red ring only gives you a trophy. Does not give you anything if you're playing the Switch version, however, and you do get yourself an achievement if you end up getting on the Steam version. I do recommend, however, to play this game off of the Steam, off of Steam, because with Steam you kind of end up having, you know, mods. I find that the console version is a bit basic, and you're not gonna really get much out of it. The Steam community for forces have been putting things here and there, such as having a costume change to make your avatar look like infinite having level changes that can that look a little bit weird they basically have also implemented like a hack for sonic one i think it was with the sonic forces physics even i guess that's like a funny hack i don't really think that's actually any sort of entertainment value for it but other than that what we're gonna be doing is episode shadow now you end up getting episode shadow right as you start the game you end up having it, you can play it, is essentially the prequel to Sonic Forces' story before Infinite kind of goes on nuts. So anyways, let's actually begin this episode and let's see where it goes. So I'm actually going to start a new game because I don't know why there's a separate save file for that. It's kind of weird. I don't really understand that. Shadow. We've got a report from the Intelligence Division. They've located an unknown base of operations that seems to be totally outside the chain of command for Eggman's army. There's a large-scale troop presence, suspiciously large for a place with no strategic value. I can't imagine the Doctor would do something like that without reason. No kidding. And there's a rumor going around that old rotten Eggman has been developing some kind of new weapon. Yeah. Looks like this won't be your garden variety recon mission. Do it to it, Shadow. Omega went on ahead of you, so you can link up with him on site. I'm more than enough on my own. I'll handle things. <laughs> Omega said the same thing. You two go together like chili and hot dogs. Cut the chatter. I'm on my way. I like the edgy music that's actually playing. Now, the thing with Shadows' is story is that, or Episode Shadow, is that you only have three stages. They're just almost the same exact levels as the game story, and the difference between Shadows' homing attack is that it's a little bit more, it basically breaks right through enemies. So it's a little bit of a, it's a better home and attack than Sonic's, I can say. The level design is different, not like overhaul different, mind you. There are red rings here, but I'm going to say this now. They also don't do anything either. I don't know why they decided to put red rings in here. It's kind of a waste of time. Most of your time with Shadows' playthrough is you're essentially going to be home and attacking a lot, and you're going to be using your home and attack to essentially get past areas in the game. And it can be a little bit kind of hard to do, not really, but eh, what are you going to do? But yeah, this is Shadow the Hedgehog, not voiced by Jason Griffith anymore, he's voiced by... I actually forgot who is his um, new voice actor. I like his new voice actor. His new voice actor wasn't that great. Did not, like, spark anything for me the first time he was voicing him. Mind you, the first time we actually heard him was in Sonic Generations, but it wasn't really all that because all he had, he only had, like, what, a few lines, which was, you got this, Sonic, and that's it. At least I hope that was the same guy who ended up saying, you got this, Sonic, or else I'm, I'm going to feel like a complete idiot. 
But yeah, whenever you see like a line of enemies, you essentially just have to home and attack them once, and you essentially will kill them all in one hit. And I'm glad that we are having wonderful cars out in the background, because why not? But yeah, that's essentially it. It's pretty simple. The stages are not that long. They're about like one minute. I mean, if you die a bunch of times, of course, it'll ex extend that. But yeah, I like Shadow. Pretty cool character. <laughs> the world's most powerful robot is no more a challenge than Kremt. As I suspected, this power is without peer. It is the ultimate strength. Ah, and still more wonderful. A not so tall, dark, and brooding guest has arrived. I've been waiting for Tell me what you did to Omega. Weaklings like him are of no consequence. Come now, Shadow. A long-awaited reunion, and still you spout such nonsense. I don't know you. And the only thing of no consequence around here is that big mouth of yours. <laughs> oh, I suppose you would think so. <laughs> <laughs> I am infinite. You say you do not know me, and yet I remember you so very well. To you, it was simply another in a long list of Eggman faces. You tore down without a second thought. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and get to our cutscene that basically made Infidence credibility go down from 50 to 0 flat. And, oh man. It's actually pretty interesting that um, Sonic does not go through the water slide in Mystic Jungle. That's what this place is called, right? Mystic Jungle? Yeah, this place. Uh, because, you know, it's a nice attention to detail, because it kind of ends up saying, you know, Sonic is afraid of water, so he can't really go through this stage, this stage. but Shadow, nah, man, he does not care for water. Ends up showcasing that Shadow is nothing like me at all, because I do not like water. I don't like deep water. Deep water is terrible. Alright, so for this stage here, you're essentially at the mercy of the water slide, and as I stated before, you will be home and attacking a lot, so you do want to be careful. Just like before, if you push back on the controller stick, you won't have to really worry so much. And try to be, if you're going to try to go after all the red rings, try to be sure to know where you're going to home and attack. Because sometimes your home and attack would not work at all, and you would really be pain, you will be annoyed by that. Trust me, I know I would, because every single time I try to go ahead and do the home and attack, sometimes it doesn't work. Alright, this is the last segment that you need to do, and you can get hit here. Luckily enough, this is not the original. This is not the um, the original game, like how the, the before the patch, so you can get your rings back. But before you couldn't. So this segment here, you're just using your home attack, already miss. Um, well, that's fine. Who cares? Anyways, enjoy the backstory of Infinite, and yeah, I mean, I like the cutscene, but. I just don't like the reasoning as to why Infinite's evil. Hey, you! You know you can hear me. You're captain of Squad Jackal, aren't you? Your squad was useless. Don't clean up their mess already! Yeah, yeah, I got it. You. You destroyed my squad. I'll show you why they call me the ultimate mercenary. Hey, this! What? Worthless. Don't show your pathetic face around me ever again. I'm shaking. Me? Me? Afraid? Pathetic? Calling me weak? No, I am not weak. I'm... I'm 
not. I'm not weak. I am not weak. That day, I gave up my own unsightly face. I let go of the old me, the one that was so weak, so that I could become stronger. Then, at last, I obtained the power. The power to make all yield to my will. I was reborn! I've only become what I am because of you, yet you don't remember. But I suppose that's the way it goes. It simply means that the old me was too weak, too pathetic to remember. And now you've become nothing more than an insect, waiting to be crushed underfoot. Thanks to this limitless power I have obtained, I am become unstoppable take this <clears throat> all right now it's time for the final episode for episode shadow and yep that was the entire reason for why infinite went all nutso now you do want to be careful for the infinite cubes because they will go ahead and warp your mind and they can be they can kind of warp green hill zone into a very annoying green hill zone Actually, I don't think those actually warp your mind. I think Shadow is actually pretty resistant. He's already in the virtual reality of Green Hill Zone. I mean, even though, to be perfectly honest, you could have made something better. Like, you could have done something else. I mean, if you kind of knew about Shadow's past, you probably could have done something with that. But, eh, whatever. What are you going to do? Um, so, yeah. I don't know why they hid Infinite's face. Because, in all honesty... If you, if there are people that read the comic, will be able to understand more about Infinite as a whole. But you know, there's not a lot of people that are gonna read the comic, and I'm, I mean, kids are not gonna read the comic. I don't really think kids are gonna go out of their way to read a Sonic comic about a character that's gonna be written off very quickly. Because the backstory for Infinite is essentially, yes, he is a captain of the Jackal team, and he is a Jackal. The problem with Infinite, though, is that he was already a dick to begin with. Like, his squad already knew that he was a dick, and the fact that Eggman and Infinite both saw the future that the Phantom Ruby can give them, and... And Infinite took a liking to that. Infinite basically ended up saying, hey, yeah, I'll join you. Even though, to be perfectly honest, Infinite was just there to try to go ahead and rob Eggman of his treasures. I don't get why his jackal brethren decided to still stick with him up until a certain point until Shadow kicked the crap out of all of them. But, uh, what are you going to do? The song that is playing right now is the Bio Lizard, the first fa the first phase of the Bio Lizard's theme, supporting me. Uh, I'm just gonna let, I'm just gonna hush up and let you guys just enjoy the theme, or not. Never mind, that was already done. I need to remember. I forgot how short these levels are. <laughs> Alright, so there is actually one thing I kind of do want to do, and it's kind of something that the game does not do, but. After this, because there is one more cutscene after this. What? Where? I'm back here. No. Is this an illusion? This is reality, Shadow. Your reality. I didn't expect to see you come back alive, but you must admit. It was a truly wonderful show, wasn't it? <laughs> this power, before we've even tuned it, just as I thought, it is unrivaled. Not even Sonic will be able to stand against me now. 
<laughs> Sonic? What are you plotting? What is this? Stop! Where do you think you're going, Infinite? <laughs> Shadow? Shadow! Finally, the connection's back. What are you doing? Rouge? <laughs> Forget it. Get away from there as soon as you can. There are explosions going off all over. The facility's about to collapse. <laughs> Withdrawing now. What's the meaning of all this? Rouge, are you telling me the truth? What's the point of lying about it? Eggman got a beat on Sonic and mounted a massive assault. I mean, sure, A for effort, but it's nothing to worry about. We've got the advantage now. Sonic is there too, so I don't think it's a big enough deal for you to head out. Not even Sonic will be able to stand against me now. I can't imagine the Doctor would do something like that without... <sighs> Shadow! This is not good. Hurry, get over there. What is it, Rouge? What happened? Is everyone okay? We are thanks to you. Cutting you kind of close, though, pal. Well, yeah, that's pretty much how I roll. Okay, let's finish this, Eggman. It will be yours. Sonic, behold the power of my ultimate masterpiece! Huh? Shadow, it's you? Zabok! Metal! Chaos! Yeah, they just replayed the same exact cutscene again. I don't know why they decided to do that. I, I'm confused by why they decided to replay the same exact cutscene. But, you don't want to know something? Whatever. That's it. That's the last episode of Sonic Forces. I know that the final episode wasn't really as good. I kind of wish I could redo that again, but it's already uploaded. It's already in the ether of um, YouTubes. But anyways, I'm going to just leave you guys with Infidence's full theme because eh, you don't get the chance to hear it as often. And what a way to cap off the final um, video of this LP. So I've been 6x once again, and I'll be seeing you guys at whatever I'm doing currently. C-Sex, over and out. Laters! Down in a sec